across between the school district and the community are mourning today after a beloved algebra teacher died last week. KCBD News Channel 11 Sydney Lowther spoke to members of the community there about his memory and how they will honor it. Suddenly, unexpected. Um, you know, it was a big, um, it's just been devastating and it's been tough for, you know, the last few days. That's how Superintendent David Rodriguez describes the loss of Crosbyton educator Dan Hoots after announcing his death on social media Friday. He, he always did what's best for students um, and our community, uh, you know, and, and so it, he's going to be very um, missed by us and, and, and everyone. Rodriguez says he leaves a legacy with the students, staff, and community in Crosbyton. Just continue to, to, to remember him, um, all his great memories that, that he, he brought to us. High school principal Carlos Munoz says Dan was someone you could count on to be there. When I think about him, uh, there wasn't an event that he wasn't at if he could be there. He was at football games, uh, basketball games, baseball, softball. If our kids were doing something, he was there. Munoz says he was someone the Crosbyton tribe could come to. And if you needed to sit down and talk, Dan was there. And, and I think that anybody would say that about him as he was, he was always willing to share, always willing to talk, always willing to listen. Former students, colleagues, and staff have shared their grief on social media all to prop up the Chiefs in this time of loss. I would say just the support from the community uh, ha has been great, but, but it, 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 it's, it's a great loss. Uh, uh, our, you know, he's definitely going to be missed. Dan Hoots was 61 years old. Sydney Lowther, KCBD News Channel 11. The district will hold a memorial for Dan Hoots tomorrow. It's set for 6 o'clock at the high school gym.